Wow. A woman went into a butcher shop for half a pound of meat. The butcher carved her off a slice, it wasn't very sweet. She sniffed at it and said, Oh dear, is this the best you've got? It smells too high for me to buy. The butcher shouted, What? Do you want us to lose the war? Do you want us to lose the war? It's not very tasty, I'll freely admit. But you got to have it and put up with it. You can't stop the old cow from doing its bit. Do you want us to lose the war? Well, Brown sat in the rose and crown and talked about the war. He dipped his finger in his beer and then began to draw. He said, now here's the British lines and here's the German foe. And then the potman shouted, Time! And Brown said, Off a Do you want us to lose the war? Do you want us to lose the war? I had it worked out, we were certain to win. And you shouted, Time! And I think it's a sin. With another half pint, we'd have been in Berlin. Do you want us to lose the war? Well, a patriotic lady known as saucy Mrs. White held a concert party for the wounded lads one night. She whispered to her husband, George, George, I, I, I think I'm going to sing. To cheer the dear lads up a bit, says he. God save the king. Do you want us to lose the war? Do you want us to lose the war? To those convalescents who shivered in dread, she warbled, oh, tuck me in my little bed. We've got to be back in a fortnight, they said. Do you want us to lose the war? Well, Nancy, she's the serving maid in number 23. Had four young strapping sailor lads down in the scullery. Her mistress came down in a huff. What cheek you've got, she cried. How dare you have four sailors in when Nancy boldly replied. Do you want us to lose the war? Do you want us to lose the war? The Huns have torpedoed the good Nancy Lee. These sailors all know my name's Nancy, you see. So they came round to stop them torpedoing me. Do you want us to lose the war?